In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some animations with using DoTween in visual scripting. And this will also demonstrate how you can import custom assets into visual scripting. So you can use the C sharp scripts with visual scripting. To start using DoTween in our project, first thing we need to go and find it in the asset store. You have to be logged in. And when you're logged in, you can click add to my assets, click accept and you'll get this pop up. We can click open in Unity and that will bring up a package manager for us. But you can see that it didn't pull up that package for us. So we can go back and click open in Unity again. And this time it switched to my assets. And if I click it one more time, then it's actually going to find it. So if you have the package manager open and you have my assets selected, it should find it at the first time. But if you don't, you just need to click it multiple times. Click import. I have it already downloaded, so I can just import it and the package will import. After the import is completed, we get this pop up saying that do tween setup is required. So we can go and open the utility panel and inside here we need to set up do tween. So click on the setup. Then you'll have to wait for a little bit for it to add and configure everything. This window that we see right here are the modules that we can enable or disable. And if you're not planning to use one of the modules, you can uncheck those so you don't have extra stuff, but I'll just leave all of them on for now. Click apply and now Dutween should be configured with Unity. Now to configure Dutween with Visual Scripting, there are some more steps that we need to do. You'll have to go to edit and project settings. And right here on their Visual Scripting, we need to add some node libraries and types. The first thing that you need to add is actually the node library. Otherwise, you won't be able to find some types. So let's click plus here and find do twin. It's right here. And now we can scroll back up here, expand the types options. The first thing that we'll add is shortcut extensions. And this shortcut extensions is going to add us the ability of animating the transform or rectangular transform. So some basic animations. But if you want to use any of the modules that we've seen before, you need to add those modules separately. To do that, we can look for do twin modules. And right here are those modules. So we have UI module, audio and physics. So the ones that you're planning to use, you can add those in that will add support for animations with those modules. So I'll add the UI module and let's also add do twin physics module. After you added all the modules that you want to use, we can go back here and register units and it's going to start registering the new units for us. If you want to add any modules later on, you can come back here and add those modules in the types options. So you don't have to add all of them at once. Click OK. And now we should be able to find those units. So let's try to test them out. I'm going to select this car right here and let's add a script machine for it. I'll switch to embedded and here's my new script graph. So now if I want to make some animations, you can look for do and then the animation that you want. So for instance, if you want move, you can do do move and you can see these units. So we have do move that moves the transform. And then we have rigid body here as well because we have added the physics module as well. So we can use any of these units, but some other ones we have is do scale. If you want to scale and do rotate and I'm going to use the do rotate. So let's add that in. I'll add Spock package to this project. So it'd be faster for me to do this demo. Spock is one of the packages that I made and it's available. And the point of it is to simplify some of the visual scripting. So with that, I can use the if collide. And if the player collides with this car, I want to do this animation. So let's do on enter. The animation that I'm going to do is rotate this car 180 degrees and the duration for it, I'll put in one second. We can click play and test this out. So now if I roll to that car, if I hit it, you see that it rotates. And if I hit it again, nothing's going to happen. And it's because the mode that I have it set up to some of the modes that we have available here is fast, fast beyond 360 world access add and local access add. So let's select local access add. And now each time that I hit is actually going to try rotating 180 degrees. And right here, you can see that it's doing that. Each time I hit it, it actually rotates 180 degrees. So that is one of the options that we have here. Now you can also do something with scale. 
and on enter let's stop rotating it and scale it down instead so let's scale it down to zero actually so it will disappear let's do a one second and let's go hit that car and right there you can see that that car just scaled to zero so that's how you can use the between with visual scripting if you need more information about the units that you have available you can go to documentations and then here you can find the methods that are available and then method names are going to be same as the units that will be available for you.